Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 7 of our Secret of Mana RPG cast, where we are playing a tabletop RPG style campaign of the classic SNES game Secret of Mana. With me today, we have James Valor Pelster, uh, Anna Harper has a six pack Brynarski, and Sprite <laughs> Joseph Martin. You guys are all here. Um, we left off last time after having just heard the plight of the Moogles. We're so sad. The pebblers have taken over their village, and now they're left out here in the cold. What would you guys like to do? Let me let me remind you, you're in a very wintry-looking uh, forest. you got lots of snow on the ground. There's a couple of uh, lakes. So yes, uh, what would you guys like to do, knowing that you, you have these sad, depressed moogles around, um, and you're here in the... Do, do we know where the pebblers are? C- can I clarify something real quick? Uh, I seem to recall that they speak like a weird language yeah yeah they they uh go like can can everyone understand it or was it just me it's just you okay because you came this is where you're from so you're familiar right with the movies. Yeah, <laughs> this is things. important because that means that all information is going to be there's a i'm the middle man <laughs> oh. yeah a weak link as it were oh good <laughs> so uh friends fellows i have just been informed that these guys have a rock problem. Problem Looks with around. some very small I don't see rocks. any rocks around here. Maybe they're so small that they can't find their rocks. Oh my God. They did say pebbles. And and we're supposed to help with this how? I don't know. <laughs> the the oh sorry, hold on. They're saying they're saying people who pebble? Like they're 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 pebblers. Oh like God. ones who pebblers? pebble. Pebblers like they sell things? I got it. They sell small rocks. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought the Moogles were the ones that sold things. So, okay, looking around, you can see that to the northeast and to the southwest, you can see paths that kind of lead through the forest that are lined by uh, cylindrical stone figures. Um, They look kind of vaguely like goblins. If you took a goblin and squished it down into like a soda can... uh, so that it's like a, a perfect cylinder. It still has like arms and a face, but it's, you know, cylindrical in shape. Now, actually, uh, however, here in the middle, like a little bit out of uh, your, your immediate area, you see a familiar figure. Um, he has his back to you, but you can recognize his cool horned skull helmet. Uh, he appears to be staring directly at a tree in front of him. Hmm. Has he taken notice of us, particularly the sprite who has been yelling all of these things? Uh, he just seems to be very interested in this tree. Um, I want to go. I want to go look at the tree. I'm going to sneak up behind Watts and startle him. While, okay. um, while they're doing that, I, I turn to whichever Moogle has been talking to me, and, and I say, is, is, th- is that the rock salesman guy? <laughs> He does look like a dwarf. That would make sense. Yes. The poo 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 poo. Uh, they, they say no. That's not him. Mm. Valor, go ahead and roll, uh, I guess, dex for All like right. a sneaking up. That is a 12. Okay. Uh, so he does not notice you. Are you trying to scare him? Are you going to like touch his shoulder? Are you going to like sneak up and like go, hey? Like, what are you, I'm, what are you I'm, doing? I'm planning on just going, boo! <laughs> ah! Uh, he, he jumps very high. Let's see how high did he jump. Uh, not high enough to be in the tree, but he, uh, <laughs> he jumps up and then he, he turns around and goes, Oh, oh, hey, it's you. Um, I decided to get out of that hole. Just smell this fresh air. What you looking at the tree for? I've never seen a tree before. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. I, <laughs> I, I, I figure you would have seen trees on the way here. Like, it's not like, I doubt this is the only tree on the way to the highlands. <laughs> like... <laughs> um, let me think. I think, uh, it's not the only tree, but it's one of very few. He's probably never seen, like, a snowy tree before. Yes, I landed here, and, uh, I was very confused and very cold. Well, we're, <laughs> I think all but one of us is, <laughs> has no idea where we're going, so. I, I walk over to the group as, uh, he says that, and I say, you're being very generous. <laughs> 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 and I also say, <laughs> I've got bad news, guys. The trail's gone cold. Also, I've run out of leads. 
But what tra- trail? Well, the trail, the, 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 the joke was that the trail that we're walking on is cold because it's cold here. And then uh, also I'm out of leads because this guy is not the rock salesman that I we're looking see. for. Boom. Anyway, what's up? What's going on? Do, do, do you have any orbs for me? Um, do we? I feel like let me, we do. <laughs> I don't let remember. Let me consult my brain space real quick yeah. and mm. remember if I have any orbs. Yes, you guys do in fact have one boomerang orb. Yeah. Ah, yes. Well, there you go. Yeah, you you get a boomerang upgrade, and you're going from the the uh, chakram to the load boomerang, just to let you know. Okay. So, uh, if you want to go ahead and give him your boomerang orb. Yes, I would because I'd like to be able to do more damage with my basic attack. <laughs> Because right now it is woefully underpowered. I mean, it worked okay in the last combat. It's only a little bit less than my magic. <laughs> All right, guys, come on, come on, give it here. I did. I, I give it. I give him the boomerang. <laughs> okay. Um, this is gonna be a little odd. I'm used to working in in much different conditions. I would um, imagine. Yes. It's a. Really? <laughs> it's a little cold here. Um, I'm used to a very hot. Uh, you know, I have that pit of lava there. Um, but th- this should be fine. Just give me a minute. I'll set something on fire. What are we setting yeah. on fire now? Everything. The forest. Why, though? To, uh, to forge this boomerang. Yeah. He needs a forge. He turns back towards the tree. You you guys kind of try to, like, peek over his shoulders, but he, like, looks back at you. And so you kind of, you know, pretend that you weren't looking. And several minutes later, you know, you hear some clanging, some banging. And, yeah, he, he turns back around and... If you remember, uh, your boomerang that you had just given him was circular and spiky, whereas originally it was like a wooden boomerang, like the classic you know, boomerang that you would remember. Um, he seems to have taken your circular boomerang and bent it in half so that all of the spikes are on the uh, the leading edge, but it's back to its regular like boomerang sort of half circle shape. You broke it. <laughs> oh no no it's much better i promise you here 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 give it a shot how much better? Right, i throw the boomerang <laughs> no give, the boomerang. give that back uh it, i um, forbid you from using this roll, roll dexterity valor all right nat 20 you have a sword oh, okay. i'm so, just um, trying the boomerang it's not yours it, it can the, be in the actual game you can equip like anything can't you this is true. This is actually very true. This is not um, the actual game. <laughs> like all the characters can equip all the weapons. So, with your with your natural twenty, the boomerang sails off. Um, it flies like just under uh, Watt's horns, and then like flies up, like between the trees. You see it like slice through a few branches, uh, and then it sails its way through the sky back down. And uh, you like you catch it and kind of like spin on a foot as you know you do so. Nice. I can see why you like this. I, g- I give it back to Sprite. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, before you leave, uh, remember, uh, like and subscribe. Yes, of course. Got it. Always. I like every single, like, without actually looking on Instagram, I see every post and I like every single one. <laughs> it's like you're doing a great job, buddy. So yeah, there's there's where you landed was between two ponds in uh, a snowy clearing in a snowy forest. And yes, once again, you're surrounded on all sides by trees, except for in the northeast, where there is a path lined by the cylindrical statues, and in the southwest, where there is a very similar path. Well, I, I vote to see what's to the south. Well, I was gonna walk over back to the Moogles and be like, "So, which way did the uh, did these rock salesmen go?" I'm not. I don't have the whole story, but I think I've got the big picture. Beep, boop, boop, boop. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. I, um, <laughs> they explain that their hometown is in a much warmer part of the forest. So south is that a roundabout way of saying south? They told me that their home is warm. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I guess south would be... Is it cold here because we're high up or because we're far north? Uh, you will see once you proceed down the path to the south, which uh, 
so yeah, you, you start down this path. It's kind of lined by these uh, weird sort of cylindrical goblin stone statues. And about halfway down the path, the trees very suddenly turn from snow-covered white to a flowery pink. Small red fruits are just starting to grow, and the path is lined with bright green grass and blooming flowers. I'm picking all of the flowers, just absent-mindedly, just like, I like this. As you come out to an opening in this little path, uh, you see uh, Nako to your left. He's standing against his tree, adjusting his oversized pack. This is perfect timing, because we have literally nothing (laughs) to our name. True. Yeah. Do we have money? Uh, technically, I think you did get some money at some point. That um, I gave you some some golds uh, out of some treasure chests. I'm trying to remember. I'm a princess. Like in the king's chambers, we got like three different fifty GP. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so we have a hundred and fifty GP. What can I do for you? What do you have? What do you? Got? Yeah, that, I think that, that that's more dependent on you. Yeah, what what can you do for us? <laughs> you can sell us things, my good so man. So he uh, Cat, he he takes his Catman. bag, he takes his bag off of his back, uh, and he sets it on the ground, uh, and he starts pulling things out: uh, candy, chocolate, fairy walnut, a medical herb that looks like a radish, cup of wishes, headgear, quilt cap, spiky suit, kung fu dress, power wrist. Cobra bracelet. Just stop me if you if you see anything you, you like. Could uh, you potentially you uh, slower? Could you potentially have like? Do you have like a shopping list that could perhaps be represented in text that could be posted somewhere for our eyes to see? Like on that tree behind you. <laughs> okay, but you said kung fu dress, and now I need. I to did. Know. I did. In fact, uh, he or he Guys, did. In fact, say kung fu dress. We all need kung fu dresses. I, I kind of want that armband. I'm I'm not going to um keep with the uh the cannon prices because like I haven't been giving you guys money for yeah, battles. You haven't and been stuff. giving us the cannon money. <laughs> yeah, so um I think this is going to be more of a fun bartering uh, issue. Like there will be some money exchanged because you do have a little bit. I think I was using that more of as an excuse to be like, oh, well, cannon travel. You can just uh, pay him with the money that you got that one time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so Kong food trust. Yeah, what does that do? It increases your defense and attack power. Okay, I want it. I think the spiky suit also does so. Uh, I'll take the spiky no, suit. No, we all want a kung fu dress. A single one shared between the three of us. <laughs> like all at the same time, or like we're all just right. You've like... got you've got Valor's head coming out the top, and my head sticking out of one of the arms, and Harper's head sticking out one of the other arms. It's just like, we just run up and shout, fight me! <laughs> no one's gonna want to mess with us. So you, you you say barter, Jetty, but we don't have anything. With which to barter. I have my boomerang, and I need that. <laughs> I have my sword, and that's kind of the fate of the world. I'm a princess. My dad has money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, you don't need to brag about it. (laughs) I'm not, I'm just saying. I didn't think this out too much ahead of time, what you could barter with him with. Um, I think I was expecting you guys to get, like, a candy and maybe a couple of wishes with the money that you had, but I didn't really have too much of a plan for... Of course you want the kung fu dress. Who doesn't? I have flowers. What does the cup of wishes do? Uh, you guys are gonna die at some point. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> nice foreshadowing. Um, oh, oh, oh. So, you okay. Feel really confident. Um, I will tell you that the first six episodes I kind of wrote all at the same time, and so I kind of had this like scheme of how strong uh you know the bosses would be and that kind of thing, which uh, I have rapidly realized. We're um, a little more OP than we thought. And so now that I've had time to sort of recalculate. There will be a noted increase in difficulty. You guys are going to die at some point. Basically what you're saying is you are going to make sure we die at some point. I mean, to be fair, the the boss in the last episode very nearly killed both me and Sprite. Yes, um, I I did some adjustments uh, on the fly there to kind of make it a little more interesting. Ah. Okay. So what is the cup of which, is it like like a magic fairy, like, bring you back to life sort of thing? Yes, um, 
So in the game, uh, what happens is you use the cup of wishes and then little cherubs kind of spin down. And while you were a ghost, uh, you are now alive again. I'm not sure. I didn't really think too far ahead about like what would the in-canon reason for this be. Well, that does sound enticing as a way to not die. <laughs> I agree. Um, and the candy is for magic, right? Uh, no, candy and chocolate are just like HP recovery, but chocolate is stronger. Fairy walnut is the magic mm. recovery. I think you had one of those. I ate it. Well, the walnut should seem sure seems like something that we could easily like. Um, maybe maybe we could get. There's a bunch of fruit here, right? <laughs> I got it. Here's my bartering ploy. Let's just say we use the money that we have to get a cup of wishes and a fairy walnut. And what we'll do is we'll collect a bunch of these rare upper lands magic fruit and you can sell them, my good my good sales cat, at an inflated price because of their location. I mean, these are in season. Like, this is the perfectly ripe season. They're just beginning to bloom. They haven't started to go ripe at all. We collect you a bunch of these, and your your finan- any financial troubles or desires that you have, poof, evaporate into the wind. What do you say? And we'll get a kung fu dress. I have so many flowers. <laughs> I'll be serious with you here. Um, things aren't selling too well up here. These moogles, are, they're super cheap. Um, they, they seem to be going through some financial difficulty at the moment. Um, That's weird. They just sold all the rocks. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to head to the cannon travel and get out of here. Look here, uh, I'll, I'll give you... Uh, yeah, I can sell you you know, for cash, since you guys do have cash. I'll give you the fairy walnut and uh, a candy. But um, that, that, that's it for me. I think I'm going to head on out here in a minute. Uh, all right, well, you're lost. I don't have... That was my only plan. <laughs> um, <laughs> the flowers... To let you guys know, there there is going to be a second time that you see him, so don't worry too much, but I will go ahead. Um, okay. We need to rescue these Moogles and get a cash reward from them. We'll, we'll give them their rocks back, and they'll give us the money back, and we'll be able to buy a kung fu dress. Who's with me? Yay. All right. So yeah, past, past Neko, the path splits off uh, to the east and another route to the south. Uh, which way would you like to go? I mean, I would say w- the east, you can see the path continuing, but the south would be warmer. Do Oh, uh, can I do a wisdom check and see if there looks like there's a bunch of suspicious footprints in any direction? <laughs> so I, I, will, I will let you use your wisdom. Go ahead and do a roll. Okay. I have a lot of it, which yeah. means that uh, I can roll a six instead of a two. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the trail's gone cold. <laughs> you, you remember that uh, things aren't as they seem here in the forest. So perhaps continuing south in, in, uh, in search of warmth is not the, uh, the direction to go. Guys, I've got a gut feeling the forest is speaking to me. We should keep going south. What do you guys think? The other two of you. I think so. I mean, I think we should follow what the sprite says. Yeah, I may be 40% hair, but I'm, I mean, look at me. I'm at least and 0% like, memory. I'm 40% <laughs> hair, 0% memory, and at least 20% gut. So like... The rest is just hot gas. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you guys head to the south, um, and you see another statue-lined path leading to the west, or you can continue around, follow the path uh, back to the east. Like, uh, you've headed south, you get kind of another split over here. Um, one way east, one way west. Alright, I'm going with my gut. I vote for west. I'm going, my gut's telling me west also. Okay. I glare at the stone statues as we walk by. Like, not menacingly, but like trying to figure out what their deal is. Okay, so, so yeah, uh, like before, uh, about halfway down the path, the scenery starts to change. The grass loses its brightness, the trees lose their flowers, but the the red fruits are fully ripe now, uh, more obvious against the bright green leaves. So, yeah, you're in this very, uh, it's warmer here than it was even before, very summery looking, and you are standing 
in a very narrow path through the forest that leads north and south. Mm, south again. All right. I'm just following my gut. We're great at mazes. Are there any, have any of these red fruits fallen on the ground? <laughs> no. Can I I've, can I throw my boomerang at one of them and like slash the stem? Um, and like I'm hungry, ahead. okay? Okay, go roll it, uh, Dex. Fifteen. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, um, it flies up, uh, slices the the stem of one of these fruits, and the fruit drops down to the ground where you can get it. I, I pick it up, and now I'm just, I'm just sort of, like, eating it. Like, slowly, I'm savoring it. Yeah. Uh, it tastes alright. It's a fruit. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, you know what, I'm gonna say that, uh, that, that four damage that you got from, uh, your crash landing, I'll go ahead and say that you, you have <laughs> Healed back up from that. Guys, we gotta Yay. collect all these fruits. They have healing properties. Wow. Break the game, it. Jetty. So you guys continue to the south, where you see a dead end that is blocked by rocks, uh, and there is a crystal, which you kind of remember from the underground palace, if you remember, where you had to cast a freeze on the uh, the crystal to freeze the lava. Mm. Do you remember? Yes, I do remember that. So yeah, you're kind of at this dead end with this crystal. I I stare at the crystal. I take another bite out of my fruit. Like, like kind of the thing where, like, I just move my mouth and keep my head still, and I move my mouth to the side and, like, (laughs) chew it. There's no obvious solution to this puzzle. Like, it's not like, hmm, what do we need? Like, I, I would think, like, fire, but I can't do fire. Probably not water, because that makes trees stronger. <laughs> but rocks also make trees stronger. I, I don't think I have the magic for this puzzle, you guys. Rock is weak against plant type. It is, and so is water. That's true. If we, if we encounter a grass-type enemy, I'm done for. Yeah. Rock is weak against plant type, and water is weak against plant type. But rock is weak against water type. These are true statements, but also doesn't really help us. There was another direction we could go. Uh, so yeah, if you if you head back to the north, it's just blocked by rocks. Mm. Yeah, like uh, the there's like a little very tiny clearing between the trees, and it's just like little stones everywhere that you can't really get around. Hello once again is that part of the show where I thank you for listening and encourage you to keep in touch and share the show with your friends. This is really important to us. As much as we do the show for fun, we also do it so that others can enjoy it as well. That's why we record and put it on the site instead of just having fun on our own. But it's difficult for new people to find the show if you, the ones listening in, hide it all to yourselves. So please, share the show. Let others enjoy our wacky retelling of this Super Nintendo classic, Secret of Mana. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and use the GCRPGCast hashtag when you're listening and or have questions or comments. I'm trying to keep this one short, so I'll leave it at that, but please, if you're enjoying the show, why not spread the joy? Thanks as always for listening, I'll let you get back to it. Alright, so you guys, you kind of stared at the thing, you ate your apple, you didn't really think much about it, and now you decided to go back. Oh, I thought the little, a lot about it. <laughs> through the little path, you know, the, the trees start to turn pink again. You were standing here at the crossroads, where you, you just came back from the west, whereas previously you had gone north. So now you're faced with going to the east. The east is the beast. And by that I mean the worst, but it's our only option, so let's go. <laughs> Alright, okay, so yeah, um, you continue along the path uh, until you get to another statue line path heading east this time. Or you can continue following the natural flow of the trees uh, going back towards the north. I mean, these statues gotta mean something. Maybe we can find a pattern with these statues. I say we keep going east. All right, can I hit one me. of them with my whip? I have what? no better alternatives. I just kind of want to hit it. Hit one of the statues? Yes. Okay, I guess roll some decks. Uh, 13. Okay, uh, you hit it with your whip and it sticks its tongue out at you. Nice. <laughs> Where's my D8? Like, the, the, the whip kind of wraps around it a little bit. I, just, I, I do 11 damage to it. Wow. Actually, that's pretty harsh. Uh, yeah, you, Can you I like, break the statue? 
you chip off a small corner of it. I feel a little bad because I, I was expecting it to like hit me back and it didn't. Now it feels kind of bad. Someone probably worked hard on this statue. I feel like a jerk now. Let's go. So, um, yeah, you continue through. And similar to when you took the, uh, the west path, taking the east path leads you out to a, a warmer, greener area, kind of more summery looking. Kind of looks like where you guys were back around, you know, the Potos area. Uh, just very green, lots of trees. In this case, though, before, you've been limited to, like, uh, narrow paths between the trees. But here, it's a large open clearing with a uh, lake in the middle. A very small lake. And you can see, uh, all the way across this sort of open area, that if you were to follow the lake around uh, to the east, there's another path with stone statues. Then all the way across the lake, sort of the the northeast, uh, is another path. And then in the northwest, like basically all four corners is one of these stone statue paths. Mm. This is a lot of options. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we go north? North, uh, northwest, or? No, yeah, let's go not back the way we came. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, yeah, we could just go east again. We'll find, you know how you get out of a maze? By, like, just sort of tracing the edge of it, and eventually, like, Hug it, the left you, wall. Like, yeah, that's what we're doing at this point. Except we're hugging the right wall. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's Let's go east. Go. Also, I think that I think that only works if you start doing it from the beginning. Because, <laughs> like, yeah. if we hug the left wall right now, we just walk around the lake in circles. So yeah, you guys, uh, you go through the the path to the southeast, and you see another. Like, what, what, once you exit out, um, you see another familiar face. There is a man with goggles and wild hair who's standing in front of a very large cannon uh, up atop sort of a, a, a rocky... Um... I get the feeling we've not gone the correct way to help the Moogles. The Moogles are waiting for us to help them, and they're just like, where are they? They could have given us better directions. We told them what happened. Where they, they just go? said, go somewhere warm. And I didn't realize that was like 90% of this forest. Well, pretty much anything is warmer than the like frozen area that they're in yeah you guys are at the cannon travel center where can we go from here hey guys uh if you want to go back to potos go to guys navel just hop into the cannon that's not uh, what we want right now later. all right let's go back and up <laughs> hey where are you going <laughs> uh so <laughs> Tur- maybe bye. just turns around with their hands up in the air and <laughs> just walks back they're done i should have asked for better directions yeah, you really should have. That was a uh, kind of a. So yes, you guys are back. You take the uh, the stone lined path back, uh, and you were back in the upper lands next to this lake in this big clearing, um, in the southeast corner right now. Yeah, and we go up. You guys are gonna go straight north. Yes, I guess so. Okay, that's yeah. The, um, that's the only path that'll take us somewhere we haven't been. <laughs> Ooh, hey, it looks different. All right. Yay. Is this what places that like thing, thing like? The seasons, because now it's fall. So it was spring, and then it was. Summer. How long have we been in this forest? <laughs> We're slowly just going insane. I am losing my mind. Yes, you guys have gone. Oh, I keep forgetting to ask you. Okay, sorry. Um, everybody, roll a perception check. Ah, perception check. That is a thing I've... I can do. Oh, yeah, like I, I'm annoyed nice. because I kept forgetting. I got a two. Okay, you don't see anything. I got a 14. Yeah. Yeah, 14. I got a 10. 14. Uh, 10. Okay, so you two, you see something in the sky that just kind of like, as you're looking up through the leaves and the branches, you see uh, a shadow sort of cross your vision. Um, but like, as you glance and go and turn to look at it, it disappears in behind the trees. It's up in the sky. Oh. I want to climb my, the tree. I put, wait, before Harper does <laughs> that, I put my hand <laughs> on her arm. And I say, please tell me you saw that, because if you didn't, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't answer, and I just go towards the tree and climb it. And I just say, well, and I just fall face down <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> I give up. I... This is this is where we're going to die. Roll dexterity. All right, that would be a 15. Yeah, 15. I got a, okay, yeah, yeah. Um... I got a 20 to fall on my face, so it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Wow. Um, so you, you fall, 
But, like, as your nose is about to touch the ground, you, like, do a sweet, like, front flip to, like, land back on your feet. Or your hair catches you. I can't even lie down correctly. <laughs> well, like, okay, but the the thing is, is it's very strange because, like, you were just falling straight forward, like, no, you, you didn't jump or anything. You're just falling straight forward, and then your feet <laughs> lift up. <laughs> go, uh, so that, yeah, you do a cool flip, and uh, you end up back on your feet. Anyway, uh, Harper also did well at climbing the tree. You climb up the tree. Um, go ahead and roll perception again. Uh, dirty 20. Okay, yeah. Um, as you, you look around, you're just fast enough to see uh, disappearing off into the uh, horizon. There's a dragon flying in the sky. A white dragon. Oh. Ooh. I yell, it's a dragon. Where? I, can I point? Sure. I'm in the tree, so I don't know if they'll see. They just see a finger point out of the tree. <laughs> well, that's just perfect. Well, I can't see anything. I can see everything. So yes, you are up in a tree, uh, which, by the way, I don't think I had a moment to describe that. The trees are kind of a reddish-brown here, like a, a very dull... Uh, like, the, the greens that you had seen in the previous area have faded, and everything here is kind of dull. It's a little cooler than it was in the last area. It's a bit dreary. So you're telling me it's the best season of them all. Uh, yeah, but we need the warm season. Yeah, true. Can you see summer from where you are? Can I see summer from where I am? Hold on, I will show you what you can see from where you are. Is it summer? Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> uh... Oh, Lord. So from where you are, I will actually say that you do see, uh, you see that you are in a section of you know, kind of brown dying trees, and then to the west is snow-covered trees, to the south of that is pink flowering trees, and to the east of that, to your south currently, is green summery trees. Gotta go uh, and then this is a section that is in the middle of a much larger fully green forest, like everything else outside of this area. Like, there's these weird four sections, and then everything else is just green like a normal forest. Mm. Gotta go south. But that's where we came from. We gotta go south. There is okay. one more exit that you did not take in the place where you just came from. Was it down? You came from the down. No, but... You didn't go northwest. But that was back oh, to where yeah. we... No, we didn't go northwest. No, we came we from didn't go just north the west. Wait, okay, did we, then we must have walked f further east on that one path, because I'm pretty, I thought that one would take us back to the spring section. Well, let's go. But okay, sure. I climb out the tree and start running. I'm sure next time I ask someone for directions, I'll be sure to say, oh, by the way, is your forest like this weird magical place <laughs> where all times exist at once, and that's how you expect me to find the location of your choice because that would be useful information to have <laughs> moogles now i don't even want to get their rocks back at this oh point it's goodness. just it's just sunk cost fallacy that's keeping me going so okay let me describe this first so yes um you guys ran back you ran uh, around the little lake up through another uh stone statue lined path into a nice looking little clearing in the forest with uh, the same sort of warm and green feel of the area that you just passed through. Um, this is more than a natural clearing, though. The area is surrounded by yellow flowers that look deliberately planted, and there are little circles of stones where the grass has been cleared away, and a stony path winds its way between them. Um, I guess you'd call these little areas nests, maybe? Like, it, it looks uh, lived in. And in the middle of this quaint scene are three creatures. They're about the same size as Sprite, and covered in blue spikes on their backs, with pointy yellow faces sticking out in front. They're adorable. And as soon as they see you, they start spinning and dive underground, so everyone roll for initiative. That's a little less I adorable. thought they just ran away, though. Oh, uh, no, they, they dove underground. Did like, they? towards oh, okay. us. Okay. Menacingly dove underground. Also, I can't believe we're fighting three Sonic the Hedgehogs. Yeah. Yes, these are the Pebblers. I got a 14. I also got a 14, but I'm pretty sure your dex is higher than mine. No, my dex is one. My dex is also one. 
Okay, then who has the higher strength? We roll, oh, higher strength? Uh, yeah, well, that's what I do. I check who has uh, higher strength. I don't have any strength, and I'm I pretty sure you strength. have, like, ten. I have four strength, so... Yeah, ten strength. All right, so I go before you. You're infinitely more strong than I am. I forgot the green health on, uh, zone theme, so I started singing the podcast theme in my head. <laughs> it's no, not it's, the same it's, thing. Doodle 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 da 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 da. Yep. Da 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 da. This is our battle music. I would like you two to sing that the entire time. Jenny, have you finished the initiative order yet? What was Harper's? I'll keep on singing. Fifteen. Okay. Until we can start the podcast again, dun dun dun, start it up again, dun dun, start it up again, dun dun. Yes, dun okay. Da, 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 okay. Da. Yes. Now back to the podcast. Now. Okay. So, one of the pebblers goes first. So, yeah. Um, you can kind of see like the the little dirt trail, like a mole. Like this is Looney Tunes. Uh, like Bugs Bunny is digging through the dirt. You see uh, a trail come in your direction, and Valor. Yes. This pebbler spins up out of the dirt to attack you, which um, Ooh. I'm going to say that they they get uh, advantage. Oh, which is good because they rolled a one. Um, they get advantage. Uh, does 10 hit? Does 10? Uh, yes, it does. Just. Okay. So, yeah, he spins up. He rolls up under you, then like spins shooting out of the ground up and runs into you with his spikes uh, for, let's see. Ouch, ouch. Um, 13 damage. Oof. Uh, which is now Harper's turn. Okay, so I want to hit it. Okay. 17 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. That's 9 points of damage. I keep forgetting I have a D8 now, and that's awesome. Oh yeah, everybody's been upgraded. Uh, so it is the second ones. This one goes over um, to Sprite. And gets an 11. So yeah, 11 hits Sprite for 12 damage. Okay. Valor, it's your turn. Okay, well, I'm going to smack this rude guy who just hurt me. I'm going to miss, unless perhaps a 6 hits him. <laughs> no. no it You're too slow. I appreciate your so, uh, joke, Anna. Thanks. Yeah, I, I was going to try to say something Sonic-y, and I was trying to remember what my Jaleel White Sonic the Hedgehog voice sounded like. Come uh, on, step it up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! This is happening! Kids, there's nothing more cool than being hugged by someone you like. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, that's the best one! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I remember That's that. That's no good. No good. No good. <laughs> <laughs> is it my turn to run away yet? Yes, Sprite, it is your turn. <laughs> okay, I'm going to run um, over to the rock uh, upright from here and stand on it so that I can't get like surprised from beneath anymore. <laughs> we'll say that you can at least hide behind it. I can't stand on a rock? I don't want to the same. It's the same rocks that you couldn't get past in the forest that were blocking your way so okay but like at, right now like they're not it's not a feature so that big. really impedes progress they're actually really tall rocks you cannot climb them well what about the what about the ones where harper is can i stand on those rocks the stone path mhm mm uh they don't really have much difficulty with any of this like they still they go under those like, they, they can dig, like, under them. Right, but they can't, like, jump through them. According to the game, they can. <laughs> That's silly. All right, well, I'm going to hide behind this rock, and I'm going to throw my boomerang. So that's a seven. To hit? Yes. It swings around the, uh, the pebbler's head. They kind of watch it as it goes around them, and then it comes back to you. Well, that was fun. Um, so yeah, the, the third one, he... Uh, goes for Valor. Um, Again. Uh... Wow, even with advantage, does not hit. Haha, -ha, I duck. Got a, a three in his... You duck as he shoots out 
from underground uh, spinning up. Wow. I had thing. no idea I was that good at ducking. <laughs> so yes, you, you've got all three pebblers here. Uh, it is back to the first pebbler. Uh, Everyone is here. Yes. The gang's all here. We will say, sort of hunkers down like he's uh, about to tackle you like football, um, and then turns into a football and like does a sweet spinning jump. Like he, what? he puts his head down and then he like spins to the side Whoa. and like bounces towards you. What? With his uh, spines out. Which, without advantage, um, still hits uh, 14. Four. Another 13 damage. Yikes. Which is Harper's turn. The one that I hit before, I want to hit again. Okay. That is a t- dirty 20 to hit. Okay. That misses. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's just not. laughs> but... No. Uh, six damage. Okay. So the one that's in the middle of the two of you, Valor and Harper, slowly starts like spinning around and it sprays dirt at the two of you. Ah. Uh, no thanks. Um, which does, I'm going to say, eight to Harper and six to, um, sorry, and it is Valor's turn. All right, well, once again, I shall attempt to smash him in the face. Uh, the one, probably the one below me. Okay. That is a 16 to hit. That hits. All right. It takes 10 damage. Okay, yeah, he's looking pretty rough, uh, but he's still in the game. Okay. Okay, so yes, uh, it is... Harper just went? Or no? No, I just no, went. just went. Okay. Yeah. So it's Sprite's, Sprite's turn. I'm going to try to boomerang again. Okay. And... No. (laughs) That rock, I told you, it's so tall. Just bounces off the rock in front of me. I didn't think this through. Okay, so... You did your best, question mark? The last one. Again, it it slowly, slowly starts spinning around, and then it dives underground. Hmm. That was that one's turn, and the first one, the one that is left turns into a football again and goes back at uh, Valor, um, but no, a nine is still gonna miss. Yes, it is. I duck. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, like, it bounces at you and you, uh, you do a sweet duck. <laughs> so, yes, uh, it is Harper's turn. I'm just gonna keep hitting it. <laughs> Alright, that's, uh, 21 to hit. Okay, yeah, that hits. That's another nine. Okay, yeah, um, he splashes out into, like, a little, like, I guess his, uh, his spikes all fly off, um, and yeah, he's, uh, he's out of there. Yay. Oh, okay, actually, hold on. Oh, okay, no, you don't get anything. Yay. But do remind me, each time that you kill one, uh, there's a chance to drop a chest. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. Um, so that was Harper's turn, so huh. the next one, uh, that guy, he again... Starts spinning around and shoots uh, dirt at you. Um, we'll say uh, does six damage to Valor and four damage to Harper. Valor, it is your turn. Well, I mean, there's only one thing I can really aim for, so... Uh, 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right. It takes 13 damage. Okay. Uh, Sprite, it's your turn. Um, okay, I'm gonna throw my boomerang at it. Is okay. there is one underground right now, or is this the last one? No, one's underground. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna throw it at the one that is not underground, because that's how <laughs> physics works. Um, I got a 18 to hit, which I imagine hits. Yeah, that hits. So I do four... Uh, wait, no. 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 Five no. damage. Nice. I, I added one instead of two, but it's actually five damage with my boomerang, because I'm helping. Okay, yeah, um, you hit it, and the other one, uh, the last one, spins up, um, under Harper. Of course. You guys should hide behind rocks, like me. So, yeah, 17 will hit Harper, which... What do you mean? Uh, 13 damage. Oh, dang. 
and it is Harper's turn. Do a hit. Oh wow, I can't see. Seventeen to hit. Okay, yeah, that hits. And that's ten damage. Okay, yeah, no, um, he looks really rough, uh, but he's still there, and it is his turn. He uh, does the cool spinny football jump thing at uh, you because he's not very happy about being about to die. Um, <laughs> oh. 12, that barely hits you. Um, for 12 damage. Oh no! Wait, how much health do you have, actually? I, I have 5 it. health. Oh dear. So, Valor, it is your turn. Which, by the it's way... I'm the healer. Uh, yeah. Like, all of you are doing pretty rough except for Sprite. <laughs> how much yeah, HP cause... do I have again? Oh, I have 12. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, these guys, guys are... Yeah, because you're just standing harder. there getting wailed on them. You have to use strategy. As opposed to moving around and getting wailed on. I'm hiding behind a rock, and it's worked out pretty well for me. You have a ranged weapon. You can throw your sword. <laughs> Not very well. You got practice earlier when you stole my boomerang. Yes, except the boomerang is meant to be thrown. <laughs> sword, yeah, you just gotta get creative. I have an 11 to hit. That misses. Alright. Then I miss. It ducked. <laughs> They're learning. This is unfortunate. Sprite, it's your turn. I missed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you two are too busy arguing. Uh, ouch. Oh, man. I, I'm i gonna have to say that he jumps at Valor because I'm a little worried. <laughs> and, oh no, okay. Luckily, oh, we can say that he jumped at Harper and that it missed. You guys are a little too close to dying. Like, I don't want to actively force you to die. Um, I would hope not. Yeah, so... Or Harper, it's your turn. Sorry. Okay. Is it okay if I eat the candy and then heal? Like, or should you I heal? You eat one candy and then you heal somebody else? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay, everybody? Yeah, well, the healer should prioritize healing themselves so that they can heal other people later. Yay, candy. I mean, we candy. We need to live to die another day. Amazing, <laughs> yes. Okay. And then you heal? Yes. Can I do that? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, you're using your actions. Like, you're, you're not gonna move. So. Yeah, true. Alright, uh, heal Valor. Ten points. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, so the last one, uh, he does the cool spinning thing with the dirt, um, which does eight to Valor <laughs> and five to Harper. And it is Valor's turn. Alright, well, you know the drill. Well, at least these enemies do. Nope. Carry on. Sprite. I got a 16 to hit. Okay. And I do uh, six damage to whichever one looks most dead. Okay, yeah, well, he looks... Whichever one looks most dead. He now looks very dead as he splashes out into a little pool. All of his uh, clothes go everywhere. Oh, right, I'm supposed to roll the... Uh... Oh, okay, so you guys get... Yeah, a, a treasure chest um, pops out. Yay! Does that resolve during the fight or after the fight? Um... You can do it now, or you can do it later. Uh, either way, whatever you like. So, Sprite, you just went, um, yep. which means that it is Harper's turn. Hitting it. Um, wow. Uh, not that this is a bad thing, but I got another 17 to hit. Okay, yeah, that is. I'm using my fancy dice, and that's only about, <laughs> like, six damage. Okay. Um, Valor, it's your turn. All right. Uh, no. Uh, there was a six to hit. Okay. Um, the the treasure sprouts out little legs and runs away. No! Um, what? what? It, it's still on the field, but it, it ran over there. No! So, uh, Sprite, it is your turn. I launch the boomerang at it, like, immediately as soon as I see that it's running away. At the treasure chest? Yeah, to stop it. I'm gonna knock it over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, can I reach it in time? Uh, like, if I use my full movement, could I get to it? Yeah, we can say that you can go get it. 
All right, then then I'll just then I'll just dive for it, and uh, I'll use my attack roll because I rolled ahead of time, not knowing that the treasure chest could just get legs and run away. What is with this forest? I hate it here. This rolled, is canon in the game. I rolled a uh, uh, seventeen dex to to grab this chest. Okay, yeah, you get it. You pick it up and throw it down. I'm assuming. Yeah, I like I like just tackle it with like full force and i'm like no we're getting something out of this miserable trip uh you guys get a chocolate yay yay it's mine i call dibs i don't actually call dibs that's just a narrative thing okay so um the little guy it's his turn um so he's going to spin and throw dirt on you guys for call that seven to harper and five to Valor. And Harper is your turn. Hey, Valor, how you looking? Uh, I'm looking like nine HP. Okay. Healing. Uh, nine. All right. And I'll, I'll let you know, by like the next episode, your heal and stuff is going to be stronger. <laughs> so if you feel like this is like a tiny Sick. amount of healing, <laughs> don't worry. It's going to get better soon. They just weirdly spaced out how you get spells. Uh, Valor, it's your turn. Let's see if we can actually hit something now. Probably not. Hey, that might be 14 to hit. That hits? Yes! I can finally do something. And it takes another 13 damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Sprite, it is your turn. I'm just lying on the ground. <laughs> Just like, I got the chocolate, I'm exhausted, which is me creating the narrative of why I rolled a four to attack. (laughs) Okay. Like, I thought about attacking, and I was just like, no, I'm done. (laughs) I'm just on the ground here. Okay, so, yeah, he uh, spins up, does the cool football spin, but misses Valor. That's good. Uh, So it's Harper's turn. Oh my gosh, what is... Okay, yeah, I got another 17. I don't know why it keeps rolling 14s. 7 damage. Okay, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty bad. Uh, Valor? Yes. I shall do a thing. No, I shall not do a thing. Sprite, Would you can you do, do the thing? thing? I, like, I slowly stand up, and I'm like, fine, and I just chuck the boomerang. I rolled a 15 to hit, which I imagine hits. That hits. I do four damage. The boomerang just, like, sticks in his head at this point, if that's enough to to, to off him. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, it it sticks in his head. He falls to the ground, uh, splashes out into a little little droplets. And that's it. Yay! I fall back down, cushioned slightly by my hair, and I'm just like, can we leave now? (laughs) Immediately, we need to leave. I'm done. Nothing would make me happier. <laughs> yeah, like all the pebblers are defeated. There's nothing, uh, nothing really going on here. You mean aside from the chest that ran away? Well, he no, already got it. that. Yeah, oh, caught okay. it. So yeah, uh, if you guys want to leave, we're leaving. Uh, yeah. We should go back. We should go back to the. No, we should just leave. <laughs> the we should go back to the Moogles and tell them that we got their rocks back for them. Okay. Okay, so yeah, as you guys start to leave, uh, the Moogles can come back to their village now. Fade to black. Yay. And now you guys are all standing there and uh, all the Moogles are here. Everyone is here. Yeah, like suddenly all the Moogles are here. Uh, Nako and Watts are here too. Oh, right. There's two treasure chests. There's uh, Nako, there's Watts, there's a bunch of Moogles all happily dancing around. Everything's great. Yay. I'd like to get some armor because ow, and also healing candy. So I'm I'm gonna say that uh, a a Moogle runs up and talks to Sprite and says, "Poopy poop poop po." Uh, and Sprite, you your head starts to hurt and you like fall over backwards. I'm already lying down. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, you you're just rolling on the ground, writhing in pain. Um, but you can remember everything. Uh, this is the day I'm having. (laughs) You remember 
you remember a phrase, a little mnemonic, if you will. Walk the seasons from spring to winter, spring again, and we can enter. Uh, it doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> what could it mean? You'll have to find out on the next episode. This is terrible. <laughs> Because it's 1d6 plus 2, which is less damage than 2d4 plus 2. Yeah, you had uh, 1d4 plus 2, and now you have 1d6 plus 2. I had 2d4 plus 2. I thought it was 1d4. I had 1d4 the... Oh, no.